Right then, ladies and gentlemen, um, what we're going to make today is a classic crumble. Doesn't everybody love a crumble on a Sunday? So, mm -hmm. or in fact, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday? I shall be having it tonight and it's a Thursday because I know how to live. <laughs> <laughs> Check you out. I know, can't be saved. Now, I have a bit of a theory about a crumble filling. That you've it always... is nowhere near as good as a topping. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my theory, coming back to it, is that you always need a base of apples. Now, these are Bramley apples, okay? Two little beauties. And what we're going to do is chop them up um, and pop them into the pan because that gives you a sort of puree. And then you need something else on top. Now, I've just got um, a bowl full of sort of random mixed berries from the freezer. Because whenever you come home from university, you buy a great big bag have about two bowlfuls and go back to university but they all oh, i have i've left my blender at university i'm missing her a bit but she's a bit rubbish anyway. maybe i should invest in a new one in a new one so i've got a um but you could do other fruits plums are great blackberry just blackberries on their own um strawberry pears, you're being really red yeah so and you need a sort of a sharper other fruit to go with your apples now this is an oaty apple crumble and we've got some uh, sugar to go in with the fruit and then our topping, we've got um, 150 grams of plain flour. We've got 75 grams of, I would use butter, but because I owe my daughter here, um, I'm using a vegetable margarine so she can have it, okay, but fat is some description. Um, we have got uh, 75 grams of sugar. Now, if I had it in the cupboard, I'd use demerara, um, the sort of granulated um, uh, golden sugar but I've just got caster here, so I'm using that. And 50 grams of oats, which increase the fibre, increase the nutrients, and give it a real nice nuttiness. You, would you, what would you use? You just use sugar and butter if you're doing a normal crumble crumble. Um, a crumble crumble. Crumble crumble. Um, yeah, I'd just leave the oats out, but I would always put oats in, to be honest. So what we're doing here is we are going to cut the apple in half. We're going to cut it in quarters. We're going to hold it with a claw grip take out the core and uh, we're going to peel it and then we're going to chop it into pretty chunky chunks to go into the pan okay you could do this with a knife but you lose half the apple and also a lot of the vitamin c is just below the skin so we want to keep that so just into some nice big chunks and into a pan so so I've got my apple chopped up. I'm going to put in the sucre. Yeah, a couple of tablespoons of sugar just for sweetness. And then just a little bit of water, about two tablespoons again of water. We don't want a really slushy crumble filling. Now some people don't cook the filling underneath, but I prefer a sort of smoother, half chunky, half smooth filling um, that you're going to need to get by cooking the apples first of all. So, <laughs> Sat down. <laughs> Libby's moving the stool. That's, oh, well, that's down on my ear. Right, okay, so we're going to just cook those for about 10 minutes until they go a little bit pul pulpy. So, my apples, if you have a look, you want that combination of some chunks but then a bit of pulpiness. What does that mean? Pop, just soft, pulpy? Yeah, pulp, like it goes to a puree. A puree, you could give a baby that. Oh, sorry, my finger just got in the way of the camera. And then, oh dear, I'm going to mix those very. Now, isn't that a thing of beauty? I think that's gorgeous. I mean. Right, we're just going to put the lid back on and let those all soften while we make the crumble topping. Nice crumble, crumble. Cheers Thank to you. us. Thank you, Liz. Cheers. Cheers to Close isolation, to am I right? Yeah. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Thank you. Calm We're down. getting shots of lemonade in a minute. Can't be shamed. <laughs> right, a uh, big mixing bowl. Once again, apologies for the slurping in the background, but I just... Let's take a ring off while we're doing this. So, um, what we're going to do is put our flour into our bowl. Lovely. And very, very simply, we're just going to break that fat up a little bit. Butter. And like I said, it is it. nicer with butter, but for you, Libby, I'll do it with... I mean, if you put enough sugar in there, you really can't tell the difference. Well, the oats as well, to be honest. And they've got some nice um, fruit. Um, obviously, think about putting spices in the fruit. Cinnamon with apple. Or nutmeg. Ginger with pear, nutmeg, all good. 
Then tips of your fingers, we're just going to rub this in um, until we get to fine breadcrumbs. Now a little question. Ooh, what far away. do we have our crumble with? I'm asking you, and like, what do you like, what's your preferable Me? side? Because uh, I know what it is, and I think it's weird. You see, my absolute fave is custard and ice cream. Oh, that's <laughs> absolutely disgusting. No, because it's you that... always have ice. Uh, my favourite is custard, particularly the outpro soy custard is so good. See, I, I like a bit of hot and cold. Oh my together. gosh, custard on crumble. I'm actually salivating. But, but if I didn't have any. If I could only choose one, it would have to be ice cream. Why? Hot and cold, Libby. Hot and cold. No, it's so nice. Long. You see, what I don't like is cream on a crumble. No, disgusting. I don't like cream, full stop, to be honest. It doesn't taste of anything but <coughs> milk. <Yep. laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like it. Because <laughs> I don't drink milk. Right. Can you see? So because this has been a sunflower magic, it's, gonna, it's been a little bit harder to rub in. But you want to get that sort of rough bread crummy um, mixture. And then we're just going to chuck in the sugar. Again, if you've got granulated or demerara, even that's coconut nicer. Coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. Yeah. What's coconut sugar? Well, Maria, it is sugar derived from coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to wash my hands. And then we're going to assemble. Soften to a really nice consistency. I'm just going to taste a little bit of it. Just to make sure... It's not too sharp or too sweet. And then I'm going to just pop this into the bottom of the dish. Now I've got the oven on to about 180. If I was making this ahead of time, so if I was, say, doing it um, on a Sunday morning to have later on in the day after a Sunday roast, I would leave the crumble. Don't put the crumble on ahead of time because it has got a tendency to go soggy. And I've, um, I've created a lot of crumble topping here. Which is the best bit. Because we do like a big layer of crumble topping. Scrummy. Okay, so OT apple and summer fruit crumble. I'm going to pop it into the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this crumble's been in for about 20 minutes. And be very careful with boiling hot. Oh, look at that lovely bit of crumble crumble so we've got that classic just bubbling fruit around the edge lovely golden topping um all ready for a bit of custard ice cream cream all all three 